Reflux esophagitis is an esophageal mucosal injury that occurs secondary to retrograde flux of gastric contents into the esophagus. Clinically, this is referred to as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GRD. The reflux disease involves the distal 8 to 10 centimeters of the esophagus and the gastroesophageal junction. The typical presentation of GERD includes esophageal symptoms such as heartburn, acid dyspepsia, regurgitation, and chest pain. The extraesophageal symptoms are also referred to as atypical symptoms of reflux disease and include, but are not limited to, cough, asthma, throat pain, aspiration pneumonia, globus sensation, and hoarseness due to, pharyngitis, laryngitis, or sinus problems. Endoscopy is performed. To confirm the presence of esophagitis, its nature, whether it is due to reflux, and its severity, when the symptoms are less than unequivocal, or atypical, and the response to treatment is not adequate, or when patient has an onset of new symptoms, such as dysphagia or hematemesis. Here's an endoscopic view of esophagus, showing erosions in lower esophagus. These erosions are present above the Z-line. This is an endoscopic view of stomach, showing some food particles. Active duodenal peristalsis are visible. On retroflexed view, fundal gastritis is visible. A biopsy is taken from Antrum, for H. pylori testing. Another case showing long linear erosions, with narrowing of esophageal lumen. A significant hiatal hernia is visible. Stomach contains undigested food particles. Papilla over medial wall of duodenum. Hiatus hernia also visible on retroflexed view. Biopsy taken from Antrum, for H. pylori testing. Here is one another case of, mild esophagitis. Severe fundal gastritis is visible, on retroflexed view. Small hiatus hernia is also visible.
The treatment involves the use of acid suppressor drugs. Surgical intervention is required in patients with hiatal hernia or an incompetent lower esophageal sphincter (LES). Erosive esophagitis can become complicated by the development of ulcers and formation of strictures due to fibrosis. About 10% of patients with symptomatic reflux develop Barrett esophagus, which is a precursor lesion for adenocarcinoma of the esophagus.